on the table today at Squirrel Stampede is the Ninjago Source Dragon of Motion, the largest dragon we have ever constructed. To find out, we had to take every Ninjago dragon we ever built at Squirrel Stampede and place them near the kitchen sink. Approximately 23 full dragons altogether. That's a lot of dragonage. And by the looks of it, the Source Dragon must be the largest. I thought maybe the closest in size could be the Ultra Dragons, but the white only clocks in at about 951 pieces, and the golden clocks in at 989 pieces, both under a thousand, whereas the Source Dragon must build in approximately around 1600 pieces, accounting for minifigure parts. How about Firstborn? That was a big dragon, right? But the set also had a helicopter involved, so you have to split 882 pieces. Zane's ice dragon with those extra legs was a pretty big dragon, but again, only at 973 pieces under 1,000. The red legacy fire dragon attack, uh, only 563 pieces. The water dragon, right? Uh, only 737 pieces in that set. The Ninjago movie dragon mech, 544 pieces. And I don't know, Overlord and Goldie here are pretty small. This one might have been my first Ninjago dragon build. Skull Sorcerer's Dragon, anyone? I can't remember how many pieces. So it was a worthy effort dragging in the dragons, rounding them up onto the kitchen island table to do a first ever gathering of the dragons collection. I knew we have built a lot over the years, about 23 seems about right. There may be a couple here missing and a couple here added that we never built on channel. They certainly look really awesome and amazing all together. But it's all about the Source Dragon Emotion today. So if this is the largest dragon at 1,716 pieces in the set, we have a lot to build. So follow along as we find all the pieces and bags and parts to this dragon and build something mighty, the largest dragon we have ever seen at Squirrel Stampede. Squirrel Stampede. Please like, share, and squirrel live. This dragon box is so large, I'm barely fitting it on my table. So this is the official box of LEGO Ninjago Dragons Rising, set number 71822, Source Dragon of Motion, 1,716 pieces. I'm guessing it has to be the largest dragons build we've done, as there are no secondary builds in the set other than these awesome little flaming dragons. So it's all dragon with this one, well, and one giant saddle with a gong. Who builds a saddle with a gong? I like that. Eh, decent supply of minifigures with the build. That is, if you care for the new characters of Dragons Rising, Kai of course is awesome, but Eren, you know, okay. And as we go down the list, I'm kind of meh. Wildfire, I like the new hairpiece. Lord Roz, Jordana, Wolf Mask Warrior, could have used a couple more of those. Wow, squirrels, look at the back of the box. I love this dragon stance. It's standing up on the back two hind legs and just ready to lunge forward all fire source-like. With wingspan an impressive 29 inches and 25 inches in length, how am I gonna fit this on the table? And how am I gonna fit this giant wolf gong saddle? Inside the box, oh no, oh no. Uh, booklet one of instructions for bags one, two, three, and four. Oh, it gets better. Booklet 2 for 5, 6, and 7. Booklet 3 for 8, 9, 10, and 11. What? A back leg is all in this? Oh, and it gets worse. Bags 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. And to top it off, the gong saddle. Uh, 17, 18, 19. Why so many books of instructions? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 books? Couldn't they have bound that together? And they could have fit the stickers in there too. Did I just spoil the number of bags? Yeah. Well, we gotta see me mowing my lawn, right? Bag one, bag two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here it comes, here it comes. No, wait. Eleven, twelve. Are you gonna roll it, Dan? Are you gonna roll it? Maybe after thirteen. Or 14. Ah, there's our favorite lawnmower shot. 15, 16, 17.
Oh, I always forget to trim. 18, and surprise, surprise, 19 bags of pieces. Oh, and don't forget plastic wings. Man, I really like some of the fabric wings we saw back in the day. Those were the good days. If Lego could just like create some sort of chemical we spray and then light it on fire, that would be terrific. All right, uh, where's bag one? So for me in Lego Ninjago Dragon Construction, torso building is my favorite part. And this could be the largest dragon torso I've ever seen, with bags one, two, three, and four all combining together to build this giant chunk of dragon meat. I'm thinking Kai. Kai is in this bag, so that makes up for everything. Did you know that Kai is short for Kyler? No. And Kyler is short for Kyler Ten? No. And Kyler Ten is short for Kyler Ten Son? No. And Kyler Ten Son is short for Kyler Ten Son Shun the Third? No. And Kyler Ten Son the Third once trained with Darth Maul? No. Because he also has a double bladed sword? Yeah. Actually, he's got three swords right now, so he fights three sword method. Ah, forgot his little bandana. There's so many little intricacies of these. And they, they gave me two, two bandanas. So with all this extra suitage, I recommend placing an extra stud in between his neck and head and then place on the hairpiece. So he's gonna be a little tall with that double face mask thing and backpack. Yeah, he still looks chirific. I do so like the Dragon Rising suits. Kind of like a playoff old school and new school in a way. Okay, so we have a lot to torso build. There is a lot to do, Scooby-Doo. So follow along as we build the largest torso. And we have constructed one rather large dragon torso. Oh, the fun, four bags of dragon torso. I guess the only major call out to note would be a segmented body for a little bit of articulation. So that might play in pretty well with how the dragon will stand. Double posted wing, perhaps. Double posted head support. And otherwise looking good for both Tall Kai and his apprentice or master, Darth Maul. As for scale, backing in the Bowser Express here, I feel like we've got two engines here. This almost feels like the front of an engine with its boiler maker up front there, pretty funny. So we've got through the first, first stage of dragon building, that's the torso. We move into booklet number two, out of how many booklets again, like 50? We're working on five, six, and seven is going to build a couple legs, a character piece, and a couple floating fire dragons. And we are now at that stage of build where we go, what have we done? What have we got ourselves into? Oh, no. This is gross looking. A giant fire worm with legs. The upside of building dragons, I always like the torso. The downside is building complicated legs twice. It's gonna look so much better though once we get into bag eight, nine, 10, and 11. Ugh, seriously, four bags to build the back legs? Although those fire dragons are pretty cute. Okay. Bag eight, bag eight. I think there's an Aaron in there. 
And we have built the Aaron minifigure, the new yellow or orange ninja. Is that official? You know, I kind of enjoyed the new characters, first season, Dragons Rising, but now it's kind of driving me away from wanting to watch any more. I just like my classic ninja. I don't need more. I get the writers and stuff probably needed some new stuff, new material to go through. We've only gone through a, a hundred million seasons. I really like this grapple. Aaron does use this grapple a lot, so that's a nice addition. But, you know, I'm just kind of like so-so on the new ninja. What do you think? Are you, are you liking the new ninja? Okay, let's start the back legs. I'm sorry, Aaron. I didn't mean to hate on you. So there we go, the main structure of our source, dragon minus head, tail, and wings. So lots to still construct on this one. Structurally speaking though, pretty sturdy. Good heavy joints up at the shoulders and hips. Nothing really to speak of in the center. Good ball joints at the feet. Movable toes. And I like the use of the rubber bumpers at the bottom to give it some extra stability so it's not gonna slide off a shelf or a table. It's standing ultra sturdy, so I like that. Well, now we move into finally the artistry of the dragon with the tail, wings, and head. It will actually look like a dragon. Oh, and more of these flying, fiery dragon minis, which really make this set. So it's bag 12. We're going to work on a tail next. What sort of stories will you tell? And it's a source dragon dog. We have yet to add on all the elements that make it more dragon like those wings and gong backpack. But now we are certainly seeing the scale of this giant, giant source dragon. She is huge going one side of the screen to the other, knocking every squirrel possible over. They've made it quite sturdy overall. Look at that giant head. There are so many things going from its back there with giant curved horns and little curvy curvy spikes and a great smile. Nicely built head. We're almost there, we're almost there. Let's get the wings and the gong on top. I guess I should say something about Wildfire. Not really my favorite character. Any character that takes screen time from the main ninja kind of kind of bore me. I do like this new hair piece on her. I think that's a new hair piece. And I think this figure is significantly better than the past Wildfire figure we saw. So she's a good inclusion to the set. I love the little fire flippers they have included with her. And she doesn't have a face switch. All right, I knew this might be a problem. Once the wings were installed, I can barely reach because I have to pull my camera so far back to get this, dude. Huge! This is one of the most impressive wingspan dragons built. Double posted in there and plenty of articulation. We can kind of rotate around like so to kind of see this full fire wing. Look at that. And it's knocking more squirrels down. Uh, so plenty of pivot points here at the uh, main source dragon uh, back connection point and then one more here uh, to ratchet uh, and fold them back a little bit. That might help help with space. Actually, if we fold these in and towards the back. So yeah, it's gonna take up a ton of space, uh, this dragon is. And now we have to build the gong. The gong saddle pack, which is gonna send this build up this direction even taller. I'm gonna go like that. That'll give me some room. 
The best villain figure in the pack has to be the Wolf Mask Warrior with those crazy wolfy fire wings of Spike. Those look great. The purple wolf mask with the red eyes and mouth will really enhance the look too. This is a great figure, but the Source Dragon Emotion will probably step on him. So a Jardana minifigure here, meh. I do like her little wolf claw shoulder pad thing going, that's a cool little accessory, but again, as for the new characters, I'm not so much into them. Too much whiny backstory with all these guys. I should also add you get six of these awesome dragon souls. What were these again on the show? It doesn't help that I watch the show after reviewing toys all day and then I fall asleep watching the show. And then critical details fall by the wayside. But six of these mini dragons! Two on a display stand, and of course you can take them off if you want to pose and move them around. The fact that the Source Dragon Emotion set comes with six of these really makes up for that high price. Follow along as we finish up this Source Dragon Emotion. And finished construction of the Source Dragon of Motion. For sure, one of the most challenging dragon builds we have worked on here on the table. Super scaled, almost, almost getting into stick monkey range up there at the lighting. It is filling up most of the table. And off to the side of the table, yes, this might just be the largest dragon we've ever constructed. Oh my! And probably one of the best proportion dragons on the table. Everything just feels nice and fit for scale. You got a good torso, holding up nice four legs, good head on it, great big wings with sturdy arms to it, good tail on the back for balance, and then of course the wolf gong saddle. Look at that sitting on top, which you do not need to have on top. You can remove, although it is actually pretty uh, unattached. It only fits on one little small two by two tile and then locks in on the side a little more with some chains. But honestly, if you're gonna fly around, the thing is gonna be wobbling off. This certainly feels like the biggest and baddest of dragon we've ever built for Ninjago. Oh, it was a challenge though, a challenge for sure. And I'm not gonna lie, this one almost defeated me as it is so, so huge. I have to take it off to the side of the table just to give you a little shot of the scale of the Source Dragon. It is filling up most of the screen with me behind it. But yeah, I've worked on so many dragons now that it's kind of becoming routine where you build the body of the dragon and then you go for the legs and the tail and the head and then the wings and then maybe an extra contraption. And it almost defeated me because there were so many, so many steps and there were so many more pieces involved in each of those steps where when I got to the second leg on the front or the second leg on the back or even a little bit on the tail there, I'm like, can I get through this? This is such a huge dragon. Totally worth it though. It is enormous. It's going to be like the pride of the pact of dragons now, the, the largest of the group. But wow, what? What an official effort here to get this dragon going. It was a doozy. And so we add the Source Dragon of Motion into my dragon collection. Oh boy, it's gonna be some time before I wind down from this dragon build. I feel like I wanna say again, so many dragons adds to the repetition and you kinda wanna start seeing something new. And I'm sure around the corner, there's going to be another great dragon build. And the Source Dragon of Motion, what do you think? Would you tackle this enormous dragon? Do you have the patience to find all the bags and pieces and continue the onslaught of legs and arms and wings that the Source Dragon took to build? I certainly think it was worth it, but whew, 
I hope I don't have to build one this large again because I kind of like the smaller ones because they're quick to build and a little more fun to throw around. But you know, you got to have a trophy dragon too in the background. If you liked today's video, please give us a squike, squirrelibe, squamit, your favorite dragon you saw on our giant kitchen collection. Kitchen collection, I like that. That could be its own channel. If What was your favorite there? There were a lot of dragons we have gone through. Uh, don't forget we have Squirrel Stampede merch out there like t-shirts, water bottles, plush Landry's that aren't dragons but are squirrels that are plush. Thank you again for watching. That's what I have to say about that. Now with fear, he's clear. I pull. You can pull it back by itself. Oh no! Maybe not do that.